Well, hey, engineering students, this is the last video related to the 2.2.5 activity. So number four is the neon signs. So going beyond, it wants us to create a continuous path in the shape of your initials, your first and your last uh, initials. Or you could do your entire name if you're feeling, you know, super confident in your um, design skills and your sweeping skills. And then it says use a circle or a square or another shape if you want to use a different polygon. Uh, as the profile at one end and sweep it as if you were creating a neon sign. So we're talking about like those glowing signs that you might see um, Dr. Salami's, which is an old, old restaurant that doesn't exist in Pella anymore. Um, <laughs> so like if you're talking uh, neon signs, like these are the types of neon signs that we're, that we're talking about. And most of the time you see them and they're all in a continuous, um, continuous line. So let's go ahead and create a new part studio. And we're definitely going to have to get creative in order to make letters that are in a continuous line that you can follow from start to finish without lifting your pencil. So if you're maybe kind of wondering how am I going to do this, maybe start by drawing it, right? Like trying to make something that looks like your initials uh, without lifting your pencil. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on the front plane here and I'm going to start sketching a K. Uh, so I'm gonna start with my line tool and um, here's, here's what's gonna happen, right? Like I, I want something that goes straight up and down and then I'm also gonna need something that goes at an angle. And so I'm gonna have to just kind of like carry this around. So it's almost gonna look like a block letter maybe to, to begin with, and it doesn't have to be anything specific or any specific um, uh, angles or sizes or anything like that. Um, so like I could keep going with my, my block letter, but uh, if I do that, just something to keep in mind is that it has to keep going. It can't close off. Um, so it would have to like go back around and then turn into the A somewhere. Um, and so, so this could, could work. It absolutely could. I'm not sure I like how, you know, there's going to be a tube that connects them here. So I think I'm actually gonna, going to um, stop it here. So like part of it will be kind of a block letter and then part of it won't be. So I'm just going to draw an extra line there. And then I'm going to trim, right, take that away. So if I were using a pencil, um, I would draw up kind of come over a little bit, go up the K, come around, and then start the A and, and make it look kind of like that. So I think that's reasonable. That kind of looks like an A. Um, so I'm curious if I can sweep it with all of these, you know, sharp 90 degree angles in there. So maybe you're thinking uh, about using a fillet or maybe you're thinking about trying to use perhaps a, um, an arc of some sort but yeah, if it kind of looks more like a tube instead of, you know, sharp, sharp angles, um, that might be something worth investigating. Or if you don't like how something is looking, change it, you know, delete stuff and, and make curves instead. Um, so I'll put a three point arc and maybe just, yeah, kind of make it look like that. I don't know. Um, you can make it look however you want. I'm pretty sure as long as your um, sketch profile is small enough, it'll make all of these turns, even at the 90 degree uh, bends. So I'm going to go on the top plane then and sketch a um, profile, looking at it from the bottom. And since I started at the origin, right, that's proper practice. Um, I mean, you could try a rectangle, you could try a circle, you know, you could do whatever size you want. I'm gonna just make sure it's not huge, right? I didn't run into my other um, points that exist up there, so. That looks plenty good to me. And I could probably go a little bit bigger as well. So now when I do the sweep, and yep. So what's nice is that you do have to go along and click every single one. So if anything turns red like that, that means I know there was a problem right on this one that I clicked. So something went wrong right up there that I need to zoom in on and, and fix potentially. So I don't, see anything real bad, but um, let's just get rid of that. And that was wrong. I need to undo that. <laughs> I need to go into the sketch and um, zoom in and see if there's something weird happening there, which I, I can't see with my 
you know, the naked eye, but I can delete these pieces and, and put in a three point arc. And that should hopefully um, fix that. I don't, oh yeah, see there was something weird there. Um, okay, so yeah, it might take some, going back into the sketch, zooming in and fixing things, right? Cause I put other fillets up here and who knows, who knows how that turned out. Um, okay, so let's go back to the sweeping. And there we go, Just click on path and then select my paths. So again, everything's looking fine. Look at that, it made that turn just fine, right? It just makes those um, super, super pointy pieces, but absolutely works. So yeah, super continuous line here. No more reds, no more reds. All right, so there we go. Uh, if you wanna hollow it out, you certainly can. We know how to do that with the shelling to make it a, a real neon sign where the um, chemicals would pass through. So, yeah, that looks roughly like a K and an A. So something to try out just to experiment with and get a chance to work a little more on those pads. Um, yeah, make sure all that's complete. And then when you have everything created, right, all of these things, go ahead and take full screen screenshots of each of these objects. So one will be the paperclip, one will be your spring or your coil, one will be the um, heating tube. And again, it's just the part. You don't have to have a dimension multi-view, just the part. Uh, and then the last thing would be the neon sign. So four screenshots uh, submitted to Google Classroom. Awesome. Great work out there, and I'll see you soon.